John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to align the front end of an MGB using some homemade tools. Here's my 2x4. You see I didn't cut it, didn't dare cut it for six bucks, six bucks at Home Depot. Then I got some scraps here that I put up. Drilled a hole through here, got a lag screw, and I, I, wound, I, I took the, uh, the real sharp point off the end of the lag screw. So I'm just going to run that up until it abuts the tire. Okay, and then we come around to the other side. Shouldn't walk in front of the camera. And you'll see I've got the same thing. And we're, we are abutting the tire. So now I'm going to knock this whole thing out of here. If it'll come out. And I'm going to bring this in on the back side and check the back side. Good thing this isn't a big Healy because you'd never get a 2x4 down there. Underneath the exhaust. So. I'm, I'm uh, really awful there, but I'm about square on this side. So, so I'm a, I'm abutted on this side. It's, it pu pulls in just a little bit because the other one's pulled in. So right now, my tires have a tremendous amount of toe in, meaning that the back of the tires are flared out. Now, I always make adjustments um, equally on the, on, the front, on the front, hoping that whoever put the rack and pinion and tie rod ends together turned them in the same amount on each side. Back in the days of the shop, we took apart, we had a mini that came in and the tie rod was screwed one and a half turns into the tie rod end on one side and like 32 half turns on the other side. No, no, dude, you make them equal. You can never get the steering wheel straight um, in the beginning. So forget about the position of the steering wheel. We'll, we're going to correct that later. Right now, we're just getting the toe in taken care of. So I'm going to use my 7 8 wrench and my vice grips. And I'm going to turn each of the tie rods out. Oh, probably a whole turn. So I've already cleaned up the tie rods underneath. You just can't see it. it just, I mean, it's just impossible. There's not enough light. So I use vice grips. That just seems to be the easiest way to get onto the tie rods. If you're up on a hoist, of course, it's a whole lot easier. In my earlier videos at my shop, you know, here I'm working on the hoist and you're going, well, yeah, that's real cool, but you know, how am I going to do this at home? Well, now this is as close to home as you can get. I'm having a hard time making the uh, tie rod move inside the rack boot. The rack boot wants to pull it back. So I'm going to struggle with this for a minute, and then we'll come back to it. Between every adjustment, you have to pull the car ahead, which realistically means you push it backwards as far as you can, 10, 15 feet at least, and bring it ahead again so the tires uh, find their, their, new, their new position on the floor. Ted Lathrop, Fast Cars, Wayland, Michigan, told me um, a long time ago that you can take like six pieces of wax paper and put them underneath the tire, and then the tire will move, and you can adjust it without moving the car back and forth, but I've never tried that. Well, I've done this. Of course, it's easier if it's out of gear.
Not your uncle's special. Yep, now we set it up again. This can take a while, but you can go to the alignment shop. Um, some of the alignment shops won't handle anything as narrow as an MG, but we used to have a great alignment shop when we were in downtown Grand Rapids. Oh my gosh, they'd come back, the steering wheels were absolutely straight. It was just great. It was really nice. Okay, so I'll take this thing down and we'll move it back again. This is tedious. We had a really nice one made out of a quarter inch pipe that Brian Logue made for the shop when he worked there. Uh, probably in 1988 and uh, I don't know if Forrest still uses it or not. That was a pipe. The nice thing about a pipe is a pipe doesn't wiggle like this one seems to. But. Oh, it's just tedious up and down. So we'll come back to it in a little bit. So after doing this back and forth, I don't know, eight times, pushing the car back and forth, we're here, also a uniform change. So now we're coming in here and this, and this guy here is, is um, that's the setting at the rear. So this is that close. So I'm gonna put about a quarter of a turn in to give it just a little more toe in and lock it down there. Then we'll continue getting the steering wheel straight. So I've left the steering wheel loose. That's my number one video, how to take the steering wheel off. So that's loose. We're gonna go drive it and we're gonna drive it straight and see where the steering wheel is. So the steering wheel looks like it's ah, 11.55 maybe, okay? So we're gonna move him one spline over and see if that takes care of it. And there are only so many splines. And if this doesn't do it, we've got to go back down and turn the tie rods. Uh, now we've already, you know, adjusted them so that we're in alignment. But um, let me watch my rear view mirror here. I think, I think the problem now is that we're canted off to the right. Let's try it and see. So it's, I don't know, it's one minute, one minute to, to the right. All right, is that good enough? Well, we're, we're gonna fix it so it's straight. And um, maybe our next video will be out on the road showing how straight we can actually make this wheel. The wheel is pretty straight right now, but it, it's just, uh, it's just a little off. So we gotta take care of the canceller too. So what I'm gonna do up in the front end here, because it's off like that, I wanna, I'm gonna move it in maybe half a turn on the left side and move it out right a turn, uh, half a turn on the right side. And that'll bring the wheel back into center but not change our alignment because we're changing uh, the tie rod ends 
equally. So let's try that. Now we're at 12 o'clock. We're as close as we can get to it. For sure about 12 o'clock. But there's still more. Down underneath the steering wheel is the canceller. Here's the canceller here, and he should be at three o'clock if we're going straight down the road. So we're gonna move him just a little bit and put our wheel back on straight. And he's still straight, straight as an arrow, so I have no problem putting the nut back on here and we'll take him in the shop and tighten up the nut. We're not gonna get him too tight because um, someday we may wanna get him back off again. We'll tighten him up and then we'll put the uh, horn push on but I've got air horns, so we have to do that inside so it doesn't drive people crazy. Hey, this is John Twist. It's an um, interesting video. Maybe it'd be better if you put some gussets, um, nailed some gussets onto that uh, little, those up, little upright so they don't wobble quite so much. It's a tedious task. This has taken us well, it's certainly half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, even though the film is considerably shorter. Hey, until then, Safety fast. T-types have slots. You can just put a wrench on them. Turn them. These things get ice creams.